Wide as the world is your command, vast as eternity your love, firm as a rock your truth must stand, when rolling years shall cease to Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, May the 15th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 101 and Hebrews chapter 7, verse 1 to 17. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I sing of your mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Alleluia. Psalm 101. Alleluia, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. When will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a sincere heart. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. I hate the work of them that stray from your paths. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must stay away from me. I will disown the wicked. Those who secretly slander their neighbors, I will cut off. Those that have a haughty look and a proud heart, I will not tolerate. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. Those that walk in a perfect way shall be my friends and serve me. Any that work deceit shall not dwell within my house. Any that tell lies shall not stand in my sight. In the morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all evildoers from your holy city. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Alleluia. The lesson is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. The Priestly Order of Melchizedek Now this King Melchizedek of Salem, priest of the Most High God, met Abraham as he was returning from defeating the kings, and blessed him. And to him Abraham apportioned one-tenth of everything, his name, in the first place, means King of Righteousness. Next, he is also King of Salem, that is, King of Peace. Without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but resembling the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. See how great he is, even Abraham, the patriarch gave him a tenth of the spoils. And those descendants of Levi who received the priestly office have a commandment in the law to collect tithes from the people, that is, from their kindred, though these also are descended from Abraham. But this man, who does not belong to their ancestry, collected tithes from Abraham and blessed him who had received the promises. It is beyond dispute that the inferior is blessed by the superior. 
In the one case, tithes are received by those who are mortal. In the other, by one of whom it is testified that he lives. One might even say that Levi himself, who receives tithes, paid tithes through Abraham. For he was still in the loins of his ancestor when Melchizedek met him. Now, if perfection had been attainable through the Levitical priesthood, for the people received the law under this priesthood, what further need would there have been to speak of another priest, arising according to the order of Melchizedek, rather than one according to the order of Aaron? For when there is a change in the priesthood, there is necessarily a change in the law as well. Now one, now the one of whom these things are spoken belonged to another tribe from which no one has ever served at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord descended from Judah and in connection with the tribe of Moses said nothing about priests. It is even more obvious that when another priest arises resembling Melchizedek, one who has become a priest, not through a legal requirement concerning physical descent, but through the power of an indestructible life. For it is attested of him, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O tender God, bless us with sincere hearts, that we may walk in your perfect way and dwell with you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.